Oh boy, oh boy. This is Liberty Hangout. Let's see Liberty Hangout here. Here's Liberty Hangout. You kids. And they have a video here called Commies on Campus. And I just I just 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 check just just check this out for a moment. This is that Caitlin Bennett. Yeah, young lady Caitlin Bennett. Paul Robeson went here, the famous black communist. Oh we oh communist. Should we be celebrating that? Are you triggered? No, I'm asking you a question. <laughs> Are you triggered? I believe, you know, communism's a great thing, actually. The idea I'm of communism a... is, like, absolutely liberating. It's the idea of, like, embracing a collective spirit to, um, like, build a better world. Yes. All right. I just want to ask you guys. Just, I'm going to put it out there. I'm going to let you decide if you think that, uh, there's anything uh, that might be remotely truthful to what I say, but uh, do these two communistas? By the way, I'm not taking any sides here. I'm not taking any like political sides. This isn't about left and right here to me, as far as what's going on here. It doesn't matter whether the Liberty Hangout is left or right. Like, does anybody really believe that these two people are for reals? Now, I want to see, do they actually, do the, does it, does it, well, we'll see. To resist, what are you resisting? I'm resisting you, bitch. Wow, very <laughs> progressive and brave. <laughs> I'm resist, oh, that was kind of funny, actually. But not really, like, in a kind of a ninth grader kind of in humor kind of way, you know? You know when you when you smoke your first bowl for the first time, you're like, dude, that was funny. You should be like good comedy things and stuff. Caitlin Bennett was like, you right, you right. Is this a show? Yes, you're live right I'm now. Live. Oh, yeah, we're, okay, we're live right now. Guy. This show this is Caitlin. Uh, Liberty. Hanging now this guy show. might be real. This guy might be real. Subscribe, what do you think? Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Okay, so far I'm thinking this guy looks reals, but those first two people, come on, man, come on, they were totally fake. Notification, subscribe. Can you tell us Liberty Hangout number one YouTube? Allegedly. YouTube channel, subscribe. Give Liberty, wait, Liberty Hangout number one YouTube channel, subscribe to them. Perfect. Okay, mm -hmm. question for you. Hi guys. Oh, you oh, oh wait, oh, oh. Group interview here. Oh, wait, oh, oh, the, oh, the communistas have gone by. Oh, oh, let's see, let's see what happens. You look cute. You got to show that outfit off, okay? All right, real quick, I won't hold up, hold you guys up. Me and James it are both white people. Like, okay. we we are in the oppressive class. And, like, oh. we recognize... Do, am I in the oppressive class? Yeah, yes. just, like, we, we benefit from white privilege in a way that, like, it's not, it, it's not obvious but it's in a more subtle way um i mean look around do you see any indigenous people yeah i talked to a lot today actually do you hear that come on look around do you see any indigenous people like come on do you these people are not real right this is not real i think this is i just gotta put it out there i am under the strong suspicion i may be wrong i may be totally wrong i'll be Totally boggered if I'm wrong. This is an example of uh, taking your opponent and putting them in some sort of crude buffoon caricature. And in this, I mean, you do that in satire all the time. But so far, it seems to me like I'm even like somewhat like given a chance that they might actually be real. I really don't think they are. But. If you're not displaying that as satire and these people really are not real, Caitlin, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you know, everybody thinks it's just all about the narrative and you just don't assume that you have to live with people for too long when you think like that because you don't really have any understanding how you need to have trusting relations with one another to build long-lasting relations when we plan on living with one another for, you know, the rest of our lives as hopefully all of us do here on this this uh in this united states is of america so to speak so uh all right well i, I tell you i'm gonna I play a little bit really? yeah, let's just um, see. what tribes were they from i didn't ask because that's not important to me but it is the, do you know the history it's not important you know the to me of this campus tell me about it this was built at, most of it was built by slave labor why are you here many buildings have the names of slave holding families why do you go in them 
Well, because Rutgers has a legacy also on top of this with really radical politics. Paul Robeson went here, the famous black communist. Oh, we, oh, communist. Should we be celebrating that? Are you triggered? No, I'm asking you a question. <laughs> See, this is, okay, that little part in between there that he did, that, that kind of sounded believable. But then you get to, are you triggered? Come on, you're not real. You're not real. I hope you're not real. Because if you are real, you are representing your team not not awesomely. But then again, Caitlin, you ain't representing your team well. You're like, I mean, well, just uh, hold on. <laughs> I believe, you know, communism is a great thing, actually. I'm oh, that's right. She said, should we be? Let me go back here. I want to go back. Should we be celebrating that? Should we be celebrating that? Oh, gosh, how I hate that. Oh, oh. That's like, that's that, that the passive aggressive librarian that, uh, you know, looking at the, you know, it's, it's okay, the book that you're reading, you know, even though it's a little bit, maybe a little bit racy, you know. You know, you're reading that Muriel Sparks. Are you reading Muriel Sparks right now? Oh, that's a little, that's a little, ooh, the Prime and Miss Jean Brody, ooh, that's a little racy. Should you be reading that? Kind of like that, kind of like, except she doesn't have any kind of the librarian's authority, so it just, she just comes across and looks like a, you know, yeah, she looks like she's reading the room wrong. That's what it looks like. Are you triggered? No, I'm asking you a question. <laughs> I believe, you know, communism's a great thing, actually. I mean, obviously, it's been implemented in ways that haven't been effective in some, in some Can capacity. you show me where it's I been believe, effective? I believe naturally humans hold a collective spirit. We are not atomized individuals. Neoliberalism has torn through humanity. So individualism way. is out of the picture. I believe we all have individual rights and the right to self-determination, as Palestinian people do as well. Um, Very brave. Yeah. See, I don't... I mean, th these things right there is like... I don't know. It's like the little parts in there. I'm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still saying it's fake. I'm still saying they're fake, but I'm going to allow for the possibility that it's not fake. But I strongly suspect. Because <laughs> then, I mean, why do you throw that in? See, it's little things like that. Why would you? I mean, you're making what are at the very least reasonable points. I'll say. Re, you know, there's something to be said about the human being we are we are collective we do have collective natures about us we have aggregate natures about us and uh why do you throw in the palestinian thing like what why why would you do that unless you want to look like a cartoony foon a cartoon foon you know a buffoon a guitar cartoon buffoon cartoon foon so here a cartoon foon. So you're playing the role of a cartoon foon here. Why would you do that? So now I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, either one way, Liberty Hangout, maybe you just got lucky and you stumbled upon actual cartoon foons. So if 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 you're if you're left leaning and you're watching this video, I want you to take this as a word of advice. Don't don't feel the need to get in all your all your points, all your shock and all points in in the course of a one brief conversation maybe go with the flow because he had a little bit of a decent let me let me just go back here i'm gonna back it up just a little bit and listen to what he said again we humans hold a collective spirit we are not atomized individuals neoliberalism has torn through humanity so and individual see so he's making some he's making some good points here that they'll never get well relatively speaking good points you know he's talking about the neoliberalism which he doesn't get to well she, she cuts him off because she does a little simple child conversation cut off thing she's about ready to do here but neoliberalism what he's i, I think hitting you know, where, where he's going to neoliberalism it kind of created it kind of created like the the hyper the american family unit the nuclear family unit as as, as opposed to the Ex more extended family units that you see that we us usually have had. This this nuclear family unit is kind of an uh, American phenomenon. And it, it, it was a hyper-individualism. Now, this guy may, may be not even like on board with the balance of you know, we, we, we are aggregates, we are 
collectives and we are also individuals. And so, you know, um, that conversation though, where maybe they, they explore the benefits and negatives of the individual type of, uh, focused governance as opposed to collective type of governance. You can have those adult conversations instead. He just is going to, well, first she does a little re re thing here. Capitalism is out of the picture. The individualism is out of the picture. Now, maybe, no, I, um, if he's a real communist, communista, you know, there are many different kind of communistas too. Like, there's all kinds of flavors. And there are communistas, uh, anarcho communistas, who are, who individualism is actually a very important part of what they do. For some communistas, not so much. So, I mean, so, so you know, this, this is incredibly simplistic cutting off of of uh, i would have been interested to see you let him let him explain he said neoliberalism he made a statement i'm assuming he was going to keep on going he was going to offer some more would have been interesting i mean if if he's real I, and then but this 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 is a part these little things right here this is what makes me suspect that this is real i mean this is fake i believe we all have individual rights and the right to self-determination as palestinian people do as well <laughs> this is kind of like the uh, ANCAP version of uh, every three seconds you have to mention, ta mention taxation is theft. And uh, they got that right. Plus three. Look, he's even smiling or he's hyping it. Come on. I'm just going to say, listen, listen, young man. You're a young man, so don't take this too hard because, you know, e even if you're communista and you're real, if you, especially if you're communista, if you if you're of that, if that's the world that you're exploring right now at this age, uh, uh, and you may be exploring it when you're 80 too. I'm not saying, not not. I don't want to den den denigrate the communistas, but uh, you know, if you really want to represent communista in a way that Americans will listen to, that aren't just a you know urban upper class. I mean, communisms, communisms largely appeals to the urban upper class and and the the really desperate poor. Yeah, not not much else. Not much else. Now I'm not saying that's good or bad, but but if you want to uh, go out beyond those uh, those circles, this this ain't it, cheap. This ain't it. But you got that um, in. Very brave. Yes. Very brave. And I also believe Stunning that and brave. naturally we are innately collective, and I believe that we all exist in a mosaic of humanity. And I think the fact that the capitalist system and neoliberalism has completely destroyed that. Um, produces ideologies like the far right that believe that so, in some ways eco-fascism is a direct result of that. My God, you were throwing out all these really crazy, weird terms. Eco-fascism. Well, okay, I am now beginning to think this is real. Okay, so these guys really are kind of, uh, what do they call them? Clownifoons? I don't know, whatever. Wafoons, clowns, clownifoons. But when I say they're clownifoons, I want to make it clear. Caitlin Bennett is making them look really smart. Because everything they said there, I could kind of understand the threats. I'm not saying they're exactly right or whatever, but they're, he's not just throwing. Well, maybe he, he is kind of encyclopedying it a bit a little bit of a diuretic blah, 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 which is i mean i understand it. i do that too it's hard not to do sometimes you know he's a young man i mean if, i'm assuming he's real the young man's got a lot of new thoughts in his head probably a lot of, i mean i'm assuming there's a lot of stuff he's learning probably the last last year all these terminologies and he's making these connections and you know i, I see what he's doing i think she for her just to say like i think she thinks he's just throwing out okay this is what finally makes me think this is real and that what makes me think finally that this is real is is i don't think that they would purposely set it up for her to look like such a dullard here no offense caitlin i mean you you you're, you're young too you can overcome someday you'll look back at this and you'll be proud and You'll also cringe. You're gonna have a little bit of, a little bit of both. But the, uh, one thing I'll say, Caitlin. One thing you should always be proud of is you got balls. 
You do. And I admire you for that. I'm not saying that the balls are very smart, but you do have balls. And I admire you for so that. In some ways, ecofascism is a direct result of that. My God, you were throwing out all the... Now, getting to the ecofascism is a little bit of a leap, but still, you know... Well, anyway, I'll These let her. really crazy, weird terms. Ecofascism... No, they are. Like, no, honestly, like, if you talk to a normal person, eco-fascism, that, that's really stupid. Oh, my gosh. She said normal or uneducated. Oh, my gosh. See, th see, this is what I'm talking about, communistas. Right here. I was just talking about what does communism appeal to? It appeals to the brutally poor and, 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 the, and, the, and, the, and the urban upper class. These kids have not learned do not appreciate the true state of affairs for most human beings in this land and the time that most human beings have and furthermore the intellectual capacity that we have now intellect is just a certain type of uh intelligence i don't want to i know it sounds weird but uh i don't want to put too much importance on people who have this who who intellectually are quote unquote superior because just because they're intellectually superior doesn't mean they're smarter in in a lot of other ways but anyway i digress these folks what she said there what that young girl said there she doesn't even realize how classist she's being right there when she says eh, what, what, what what what's it normal or uneducated normal or uneducated no 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 caitlin is right in the sense that it is really true uh you are you are not absolutely going to reach the masses with these these and and you and they do do this they they have a whole catalog of of terminologies and and phrases and and writers and books and things you got to know you got to know this stuff you got to either like like newborn christians and then newborn Christians, they got their Bible verses, and then they got after they get to the Bible, then they got their their what are all their little books from all the other Christians that write stuff about Bibles, and then they all form their stuff, and and then they all you know they got the secrets, and they share all the references with one another, like these kids are doing right here. That's all these kids are doing. But I mean, these kids, God love them. They have no idea. They have. She has no idea how classic she sounds here. These kids have no idea that uh, the very people that they may very well imagine that they might be helping, we the poors, by the way, I'm one of these poors folks, by the way, so well, help me, help me. Uh, you ain't speaking the language and you're speaking down to us and that's bad, that's bad. Yeah. Shooter self-identified as an eco-fascist. He wrote a manifesto about the climate crisis. He said he accepted the science and then scapegoated black and brown people mm -hmm. um, as, a, as a scapegoat for the climate crisis. This is real threats that we're dealing with. Okay. And I think to say that they're not real problems really minimizes. I never said that. I said it's silly. What, what is eco-fascism? I think it's, well, no, she, well, I mean, okay, I, I think I've made my point. I don't want to listen anymore. I just, I, okay, so I started off this video with uh, thinking maybe these guys were fake and I was going to be like, Liberty Hangout, what the heck you doing? But now I actually think they're real. But man, it started out, these kids, you you kids don't know how actual, like, caricature-ish you are, but you, I have to say, you kids See the thing is, Caitlin. Let me let me just say this. Okay, let me. I'm freaking get a shot here where I got, like, all. Oh, is there one shot where it's all three? Here, how? Oh, it's just two. okay. There, there. You can see all three. You know, I am just gonna tell you. Listen, Caitlin. I just want to say this. Listen, I'm not a capitalist, but I'm not a communist. I'm not any of these things. I got my own thing I'm working on. It's a secret. I can't tell you. Um. But I can assure you that if I'm listening to this and I'm not already married to the right, which is what you represent, and if I'm not already married to the left, assuming that I don't know much and I'm just listening to you guys talk, I'm going to tell you, Caitlin, those kids, those communist kids look way more sensible than you and sound way more sensible than you. And I'm not saying they sound sensible, but I tell you, they strike me as being far more authentic in their quest 
in the way they speak. And even though in the beginning I started off thinking they're fake, now I'm 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 ending with the the belief that they're just overly earnest. They're like, you know, they're like new 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 newborn Christians. They're just overly zealous, and there's nothing horrible about that. I, I've been my overly zealous. I, I still go through overly zealouses, so yeah, I can relate. But anyway. Again, I'm not taking sides on your left and right stuff. It's not about that. It's just that I, it, I, it was an interesting dynamic, and I guess something about me, something about it immediately, it just seemed, seemed strange. And I, even though it didn't end up turning out to be what I thought it bit did, I think it's still a rather interesting little bit of an exchange here. And I, I think the ultimate, the biggest, the biggest ultimate takeaway is. Well, one thing is don't don't try to put the kitchen sink into every conversation. Uh, you'll just scare the people away. And, uh, and the other thing is, uh, Caitlin, uh, sometimes. This is just another example. You've done this before where you do stuff to even try to make them look bad. And in the end, you're actually helping them. There's more people, I think, that will think these guys are reasonable than you uh, other than from your crowd and that's if you want to advance your cause i'm just saying this ain't this ain't it young lady young lady this ain't it oh this has been pg gordy and uh this has been your your random uh thoughts regarding uh caitlin bennett and uh and liberty hangouts and her commies on campus video <laughs>